<laughs> oh, you would say a dog. So when the word behind there starts with a vowel, you're going to put and in front of it. Oops. Focus, focus. No. Focus. Hold on. Sorry, guys. You would put and. Oh, I thought that I got that incorrect. You got it right? Did you get it right? I didn't see if you got it right. I put I put N I put A N and I thought that was wrong. No, you got it right. Let's look at number four. You can play the violin or sing a song. Okay, so let's think about complete and incomplete sentences. What makes a sentence complete? It has a what and a what. There's two parts to it that make it complete. Thank you, and a predicate. A what, Natalie? Subject and predicate. Subject and predicate. So the subject is who the predicate is what they're doing or what they're talking about and so on. So let's look at this first sentence right here because there's a period. You can play the violin. That's a complete sentence, right? Would y'all agree that's a complete sentence? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, crickets. Yes? No. You can play the violin. Is that a complete sentence? No. Mm, does that have a subject? You. You? And then what's the predicate? It does have a play? subject. Play? Um, can play the violin. So that's the predicate. So that is a complete sentence. But let's look behind here. Is this a complete sentence? Or sings a song? Is that no. part? No. So can we have that sentence stand alone by itself? Or should we make that? No. No. Make it to yeah. a comma. Yeah. Nope, you don't and, need a comma. Yes. And, oh, and also change things to sing. Or sing. Oh, yeah, I didn't even catch that. So we're going to make that a lowercase o and then sings or sings a song. We're not going to say sings. We're going to say sing. Good job, Daniel. Or sing a song. Ah, come on. Focus. Hold on. There you go. So you can play the violin or sing a song. Why is this stapled that way? What? I just realized this is stapled upside down. Okay, tomorrow we'll do five and six, and then Thursday, Friday, we'll keep going as usual. Got it? Are y'all ready to write? Whew. Yes, no, maybe so? Okay, I'm going to put this away. Hopefully I don't use it between now and then. Writing journals. Writing journals. Who can tell me what this bad boy is called? I know somebody knows. Who can tell me what this is called? Circle map. Circle map. I heard somebody. Sophia, I think that was. I know Miss Gonzalez is class. Supposedly, I'll write a lot of I think I did this before. Do you supposed to, like, put a circle and then yeah. you write stuff inside of it? Yep. And what were we talking about yesterday? Here, I'll put it as a reminder. What were we talking about yesterday? Something you, something hard work that you do? No. Let's read this again. This is our writing topic we're going to be writing about. Do you all have your reading journals? Y'all need to be doing what I'm doing because I'm going to ask for pictures because I'm supposed to grade this. I need what we need to work on. So in your reading journal, you're creating the circle. I'm going to start with creating the circle map with y'all and helping y'all with some ideas. But then you're eventually going to write the paper by yourself. So if we're going to do this on our own no, and no, journal no. by ourselves. Yes, I'm going to start helping y'all. We're going to do kind of the circle map a little bit. Hold on. And the flea map. And then I'm going to let y'all go to write the actual paper by yourself. And you're going to have to turn it in. You're going to have to sub, um, either take a picture and email me through Canvas or to my email so that I can grade them and help y'all and we can work on our writing because that's the only way. So right now you just need your reading journal, I'm guessing, that y'all have. Because we're going to be writing and we're going to be doing a bunch of it for, I'm going to get, we're going to have a couple of hours. We probably won't finish it today, I don't think. Somebody had a question. Elizabeth? 
Yes, do we get out of class kick? Yes, you can get out of class kick. Yeah, we're just in our reading journal right now, or writing journal. I don't know what y'all have for Miss Gonzalez. Whatever y'all write in my class is probably in your reading journal, I think. Any other questions? So keep your cameras on. Remember, I told y'all later on this afternoon, you're going to have them on whether you like it or not. So you might as well just keep them on now. Do we supposed to draw the donut? Yes, the donut or the circle map is what it's called. Yes. Draw what y'all see on my paper because we're going to start filling it out together. It's called a circle map. I know some of y'all have heard of that. Some of y'all, I think, said y'all had used it before, maybe. Y'all have seen it. We started one, didn't we? Didn't I start one with y'all, but we never finished? I used it in Ms. Gonzalez's class. Yeah, so some of y'all well, are in Ms. Gonzalez's class last year, which is a few of y'all that are here. RJ, I think, Anello, y'all were, right? I think Natalie was... Right, weren't y'all in Miss Gonzalez's class last year? Emma, weren't y'all? Yeah, so then y'all are familiar with this. Okay, let's get started. Natalie B, you said we were talking about what? Something hard work that you do. Yes, yes, I am taking this writing as a grade. So if you don't turn anything in, you're getting a big fat goose egg. A big fat zero. Yeah, a big fat zero. And it's going to be sad if I'm helping y'all with it. So we were talking about hard work. I do not know of anyone who has gotten to the top without hard work. Think about all the hard work you do. It may be work you do at school, at home, or outside. This is what we're writing about right here. Write about, I will highlight it so we know. Write about one type of hard work you do. Tell, tell about your work and explain why it is hard to do. So, we've listed some already. Taking care of my pets, babysitting my younger cousins or siblings, homework, chores because you have a lot, playing sports or maintaining a garden. Did anybody think of anything else that maybe could be hard work that we could really write about and explain in great detail why it's hard work? Anybody think of it? Anybody? Nobody thought of anything else that's hard work. Why are all these cameras off? Ay, yay, yay. I'm going to put y'all in there as own room, kick y'all out for the day. So, what do y'all want to write about? I'm going to help y'all or let y'all tell me and I'm going to help y'all. Who thinks they want to write about? Here's somebody unmuted. Taking care of pets. How many of y'all have pets? I guess, show of hands. How many of y'all have pets? Because if a lot of y'all don't have pets, then it may be difficult to write about. See, one, two, three, four, five. Nobody else has six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have two lot writers. Okay. Would we all be in agreement? Or I know some of y'all have a. Some y'all could put something different in the middle, but a majority of y'all, do y'all agree that taking care of your pets is hard work? Would we agree? Or do we disagree? You can disagree with me. And I you, agree. You can um, write something else in the middle. Anello. I you, disagree because I don't have any pets. Natalie, what is hard work to you? Taking care of my cousins. Then you can put that in the middle. If you have something other than Taking care of pets, you can write that in the middle. So let's see. Taking care of my pets, I think is hard work. So y'all, we're writing this in the middle. I don't really think, I disagree. I don't really think it's hard work because what you have to do with pets, like a normal pet, you would have to take it a bath, feed it, and make it have fun. That's the three things I have to do. Okay, Anella, what's hard work to you then? I don't know. You need to think of something because then you're going to have to write something different in the middle. You have to think of something that is hard work to you, something that you just can't wake up and do in the morning. 
because it's hard or it, it's challenging. What challenges you? Because when y'all are writing on test day, um, you have to come up with something by yourself. I hear somebody. Emma, is that you? So on the test day, we're not actually gonna we're not actually gonna write a story. We're just gonna write our topic and ideas of the topic, and then and then we're gonna write the story. Are we gonna write a story, and then we're gonna do a final draft as the test, or we're gonna so do, start with the test. We're gonna do it like we're doing it right now. So you would do your circle map, then you do your flea map, um, a rough draft, and then you would write your story. And some of y'all won't even do any of this. I already know some of y'all won't, but it's helpful because some of y'all can't even think of something to put in the middle. So if you can't think of something to put in the middle, how are you gonna have ideas to put, to compose your story, to make up your story? And I can barely hear you. What were you saying? Did I write a uh, motivating? I had a pet, but my one of my one my dog died. Emma, you said motivating. Yeah, because it's hard to motivate myself. Um. But what are we talking? About? Um. What's hard work motivation? No. I know it doesn't really go I'm trying to think of what you're thinking about. Like what subject, or maybe think about school. What subject is challenging for you? Um, Y'all that are writing with me, think of some idea or some things we can put in our, around our circle here that are, that's hard work for taking care of our um, pets. What is something you have to do to care for your pets? Giving them back. Oh, the take respect. So, giving them. Ugh. Uh, yeah, that too. Giving. Picking up their poop. <laughs> A bath. Oh, yeah. Because it's stinky and it's really hard. Pick it up because it's stinky. Uh, I have to do it at all. I just use a water hose and spray it. That's his dog's usually just outside. He's usually just outside and he just poops okay. outside. What What else is difficult about taking care of your pets? But yeah, giving them a bath, picking up their poop. What else do you have to do to a pet? There's a big one. Making Walk them. them. Making them have fun. It take your time in the day to make them have fun. So keeping them entertained, I guess. An hour is best because they're basically just exercising. Somebody said, I guess that could be walking them. So like walking them, um, playing with them. What else? What's something you're you're forgetting on taking care of pets? There's a big one. and water yeah. them. My pet died. And every night and every day you take them potty sometimes and feed them. And, and you take them a walk. So that would be keeping them entertained, feeding them. So water, food, I'll put this in parentheses, water slash food. Uh, taking up their poop or taking them to the restroom, we'll, we'll call it. Taking them. Restroom, you're done with this part? Yeah, I, my, my subject was my dogs. So taking care of, so taking care of your dogs, right? Yeah. What did you get yeah. around here? What are some of your main ideas you got around here? What'd you put? I put my pets, but I can do my dogs. What, did, what put, did you put around here? What details are going to help you? Describe to me how difficult it is to take care of your pet. Because maybe to me, I think taking care of pets is easy. What did I you have put? to feed my horses? Okay. So I you're have to clean my dogs. Because you're responsible for them if they do any bad actions. So maybe you could yeah. put 
Uh, maybe you can put like, also some of y'all have taken care of my pets. Some of y'all have two different types of animals, right? So that could be challenging. Yeah. Like, it's just not really. And that's not really challenging. I have a cat and a dog. The cat really does, never comes and just eats here. It just eats know. here and then just goes that like out of the right. rest. Of oh, I know one thing. My cat and my um dog that right there because they don't like each other. Yeah. And my cat's bigger because the little dog. It's a really small dog. It's not a puppy though, and they don't like each other at all. I have to get used to being around a lot of animals because, first of all, I have my cousins out here. It's going to go today, San Antonio, because I'm from Hello, so what is hard work for you? I know you're having a hard time. Oh, back to what I was saying about Zildjian. Taking care of multiple animals, um, feeding, taking care of a horse is a lot more difficult to me than taking care of a dog, I would think, because they're bigger, they're stronger. You got to feed them more. Their food probably weighs more. Um, they, they're, they're poopy and you know, bathroom stuff is probably a lot smellier or bigger than a, a dog's, right? And I also know if they get hurt too, because I watch a lot of that. I don't know if y'all have seen that Dr. Pole on the animal planet. Y'all have seen that old man where they take care of horses. If if y'all didn't, if a horse gets like an injury to its leg or its foot, Zildjian can probably relate. Um, a lot of times they are in danger of dying by just getting an injury to their foot. I don't know if y'all yeah. know because they are always on their feet and legs. So if they injure their legs or their foot, they have to lay down and it's not good for them, right Zildjian? I don't know exactly why it's so dangerous to them, but like if they were to, I saw one where he like really cut his hoof on something, but the, the horse was in danger of dying because he wasn't able to move like he normally was. And they are not supposed to be laying down, I don't think. Right Zildjian? I'm not sure. Yeah, and if they get a crack, they can get a disease in there. Yeah, so they're they're a lot more, I guess, difficult to care for in that sense too. And if you're like I was telling y'all yesterday, if you're caring for them and they all of a sudden get too happy and they kick you in the ribs, it could it could hurt you severely. Yeah. Uh, Mariah, you had something you wanted to add? Sorry, off topic. No, I already said um I forgot what I said, but I don't think that we're going to add anything else. Okay. Um, um, what can I say? Can I talk about what, how much I have to get used to animals at my grandma's house, which I'm here right now, with my cousin's dog right behind me. And also, I have to get used to six cats because there's five of them are stray that are just outside just eating. And then one of them, she just keeps because you don't need to keep all five, I mean all six. Okay, so we're all in agreement. So we're gonna be writing about taking care of our pets. Got it? I mean- Wait, maybe taking them on walks? Well, that would be kind of like keeping them entertained, I think. We can talk about keeping them, you know, taking them for walks, taking well, them- Oh yeah. Had so I'll put them in front walk passed away. Uh, taking them for walks also helps them poop or pee. Okay, walks or- um, playtime, we'll put playtime. They like playtime. Um, okay, so giving them a bath, picking up their poop, taking or taking them to the restroom, feeding them with the, their water and their food, maybe snacks, we could have put snacks, and then um, keeping them entertained. So we need to pick three of these to write about in our story. Which three can we write the most about, I think, or go into detail of personal experiences that are good or bad maybe? That you have with picking up dog poopy or taking them to the restroom, keeping maybe them entertained. So keeping them entertained. Okay, I'm gonna highlight that one because we're gonna write about it. Keeping them Sometimes entertained. I have to build homes for my pets. You have to do what, Zildjian? I have to build homes for my dogs. Oh, that's another one. I guess building them, keeping them sheltered in the right spot. What else can we write enough about, or we can go into detail? Maybe you have a personal experience, a bad experience about picking up their poop. Or maybe taking them to the restroom. Maybe when you went to go take or your- giving them a bath. Um, how would that be difficult? Do you have a personal experience with giving them a bath and it was a lot of work? When they keep on trying to jump out. Okay, so yeah, we can write about that one. Then. Okay. I try to get my cat. Okay. 
Maybe your cat. Like my the- cat scratched me. Yeah, maybe they don't like taking a bath, so that makes it difficult. What yeah, else? they hate it. I haven't even tried giving my cat a bath because I don't want to get bitten again. What's our last one we want to write about? We have an example, a personal experience with that was bad, or maybe it was just a lot of work. Who wants to give me one? Does anybody have any personal experiences? If you just hopped onto our Zoom, we are writing, and you need to be writing this down with us because you are going to be writing your own paper here in a little bit. Oh, what we take out? Your writing journal, I guess, or if you're in Miss Gonzalez's class, I don't know if you have writing journals. Can somebody tell me if y'all do in Miss Gonzalez's class or reading? We do. Okay, your writing journal, because you're gonna have to be turning this. And Elizabeth, did you have a question? I'm gonna answer. Go ahead. You can answer. Um, picking up the. The poopy. <laughs> Yeah, that's difficult. Why is that difficult? Who can tell me why that may be difficult? I think Anella already explained a couple. Because it can be really messy. It can be really messy. Um, I, I explained a couple. I don't, I don't even have to do it. Which one are you doing, Anella? What's it, what did you put in the middle? What are you deciding to put in the middle? I need to know so you can write your paper. I haven't really thought, but I'm thinking I'm just taking care of pets. It's kind of easy for me because I don't really have to do anything. I just have to let them in and then just give them a bath. Okay, then I would I would write what we're writing just so that you can get something on paper. Otherwise, you're going to lose out on time. I'm giving you two hours to do this, which I know we won't finish today. We'll probably finish tomorrow morning-ish. So those are our three main ideas that we're going to write about. Somebody said picking up poop, it was messy. It's smelly, I heard Natalie say. Um, giving them a bath is hard because they don't like staying in the bathroom. Maybe they don't like taking showers. What else makes it difficult with dogs and take or any animals, I guess, taking them a bath? Maybe they're big. If your animal's super big, it's got to be hard putting them in the shower or wherever to take them a bath. Usually more, the bigger dogs are more obedient because they, they, they're more, they're usually more obedient. So they'll, it'll probably won't be as hard as getting a little dog because probably you might not spend enough time with the little dog that it doesn't really like you that much. Yeah, so good, good. We've got a good start. Do we have this written down so I can get onto our flea map? Uh, or not yet, I'll leave it up there for- Well, I have a I made my own. What did you make, Natalie? Let me share out with me what you got so I can hear. I wrote taking care of my cousin. So you put taking care of your cousins in the middle. What did you put around here as your main idea? What are three difficult things about taking care of your they cousins? They always don't listen to me. Okay, so they, o- they always make a mess. Okay. They always don't want to do whatever they, they always, they always do whatever they want. Oh, okay. It's- so I hear they don't listen, okay? So you can give examples of maybe where you're trying to help them, I don't know, clean up after lunch and they didn't want to clean up. They are, what else did you say? They make a big mess. They make a big mess. So that's also kind of there too. They're eating lunch and they decided to start a food fight. I don't know. What else? They always try to do whatever they want. They're kids. They're supposed to do whatever they want. Well, not really supposed to, but they're supposed to learn from you. And since you're the babysitter, you have to give yeah, them the I try to do, I try to do that, and they just keep running away from me. Well, then play with them. Go on. They're going to get hurt because they're little. I don't know how. I don't know why I said that because I don't even have any siblings. That's why you don't know, Anello. That's why you don't know. Well, I know how it is because... I have a cousin that's more annoying than having five dogs. Than having five dogs. Okay. Okay. Do we have this down? Y'all have heard of a flea map or tree map, right? I don't know how many of y'all have heard of that. I don't think I've talked about it. We didn't get that far. Was it with y'all I started writing, or was it with my other class I started writing something we didn't try? I can't remember. 
we started writing something I told we did. I know this picture is going to look crazy, but okay. So this is all the hard work right here that we're doing right now. This is all the hard work we're doing right now. And then once we get all of this filled in, it becomes easier. So I want y'all to write, focus on just this part right here. Okay, just this part for right now. Got it? So turn your journal sideways and I'm gonna explain what this, this is. It's a tree map or a flea map. Ms. Gonzalez's class probably is familiar with it, I think maybe. I don't know. Head, or maybe you don't remember. I think she said it before, but we never did it. I know we haven't. I'm not gonna lie, we haven't done very much writing in here either. So, but I'm gonna show you once if you can fill this in. I'm telling you, words will show up on your paper like nobody's business. Wait for Miss Gonzalez class. Where are we gonna like submit um our paper? Um, I don't think we're going to finish it, and I won't ask y'all to submit it for Ms. Gonzalez's class. I don't want y'all to submit it. My class either. I don't want y'all to submit anything today, okay? I don't want anybody to submit anything today, okay? I want y'all just to follow along, and I don't even know really how Ms. Gonzalez is going to, if she's going to have y'all go over it again with her, I don't really know, but y'all can just follow along with us anyways. Elizabeth? Yes. Do we draw that? Yes. Draw all this part right here. This is going to be our introduction. Main idea one, main idea two, main idea three. Let me put it right here. I'll put main idea one. That's what that means. Right. Um, um, Mr. Nardis, yes. Um, yes. can I tell you my um poor um um can I tell you three of my main ideas I'm going to do um okay they're gonna go in here what is your what is your what is hard work to you tell me what first of all what's hard work for you what did we write at the top hold on i'm um, well, well like this thing i'm writing about is hitting a's on my report card so your schoolwork so um what is hard work for me is getting i guess good grades specifically mm -hmm. a on my report card mm -hmm. why is yeah. that hard like 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 because like I have to do good in every single subject. So every single subject I have to do well. Okay. Well, I I I have to hit a a hundred on the test. So you have to you have to do well. You have to do well on tests, not only homework. Okay, what's another thing? Those are good. And so I also have to do good on star. Also on star. So yeah. Daniel, that's what you can put one of those in each one of these boxes for you, okay? So you can put, I have to do well in each class. I have to do well on tests, not just homework. And I and that means you also have to participate, right, Daniel? Because if you're not participating in class, how do I know if you get something? Or how do you know if you understand something? And then at the end of the year, if you've done really well, you're probably going to do well on your star test, right? You've been doing well all, all year long. Usually that's how it works out. And for the most part, I was very proud of you on your math test last week. Let's see if we can keep it up again this week. So I thought it was going to be a little more challenging than what I saw, but I guess if you can do area model. So some of you are asking, what is this box up here? This is going to be our introduction where we're going to introduce our topic. And our topic is, what is hard work to us? And we said hard work to us is what? Somebody can just unmute and tell me what we said was hard work. Dylan? Taking care of pets. pets. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, so taking care of pets. But when you're reading a story, when you're reading any story in the library, Y'all read, um, a lot of y'all will read the first couple of pages and either decide is it's a good book or it's a bad book. And if it's a good book, there's usually some sort, sort of like hook or something that catches you, some phrase maybe, or something interesting. Because if it doesn't catch your attention in those first page or two, a lot of y'all won't read the book. And y'all put it back and go to, when y'all could go to the library, y'all would go to the library and get new books. 
because they're not interesting. Do we have this down so we can write our introduction? Who wants to try to write an introduction for us? Go. So we know we're writing about what is hard work to us. And we said hard work to us is taking care of pets. How can we introduce that? Man, there's 31 people in here. How can we introduce hard work but make it a little interesting for us? I can give you a hint. I can give you a hint right here. If you use, here's, here's this. If you use what's in this box, like this quote that's in this box, in your introduction, you get big bonus points on your test, on your, your writing score. So if you can somehow use this in your introduction as like your hook, you will get big bonus points on your writing test. So how can we include this in our introduction to int introduce maybe our topic about, re about um, taking care of our dogs? Think. Or if somebody has an introduction they think they wanna try to use. Daniel, do you have something you can think of? She had pretty good main ideas. I hate, I hate introductions. How about, or like maybe, I'm trying to think of how we could use like a, an onomatopoeia or something in here, like an action word to like catch that reader in the beginning. I think about pets. Something to catch the reader's attention, taking care of hard work. Yeah, I think time I really see things like that like introductions or like what do they call in the beginning it's like a part of the story and like usually in chapter books where it shows and there's a beginning and there's like an extra story a little, a little mini part so we have i to usually only see that for like sequels so we have to tell the reader what we're writing about and we're, we're writing about um taking how taking care of pets is hard work right so we have to let the reader know what we're talking about otherwise they don't know what we're talking about and they're like what is going on here one minute he's talking about dogs and the next he's talking about poop. Where is he going with his story? Let me see. I'm trying to um, it makes sense. I would actually know what it is, but. Do y'all want some tips on it? Hold on, I'm trying to find something in my. Not really great with introductions because I always forget about it. Well, you need it though because it's going to tell the reader what you're writing about. I'm looking for one in this book I have. Right here. Why don't you find the introduction in the platypus or the echidna book? I could. Okay, here. here's one. Let me give you an example of one right here. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me zoom in. Here's what they're drawing right here, what we are drawing on our paper, right? And they put, um, their topic is, let's see, I'm going to read this introduction here. Don't even read any of this bottom part. Let me unfreeze it. Don't even worry about this bottom part. And I'm going to ask y'all, what is, what are they writing about? What are they trying to tell us about? The very best, best place to go for a class trip is to the San Diego Zoo. There are many places we could go that would be fun but none of these compare to the san diego zoo so what is what is this person writing about what does that first sentence tell us they're, they're writing about they're trying to persuade us about going to the zoo but what are, why are they going to the zoo what are they doing what does that first sentence say it's a okay. really good field trip. There you go. Good job, Natalie. So they're writing about um, the best place to go for a field trip. And Natalie, the best place to go to the field trip would be the San Diego Zoo. So how could we turn in our hard work about pets? How can we make an introduction? Then they go into detail. See how they have their main ideas here? <clears throat> Let's see. I'm trying to think of one. Natalie V, I heard you answer. 
editing, hard work. One type of hard work do you what? Write about one type of hard work. Hard work is always a big responsibility. Well, hard work is always a big responsibility. Or what if we say, yeah, hard work is always a big responsibility. Uh, oh, okay. You're, you're kind of on the right track. I just had it. Oh, I just had it. I was going to say, taking care of my pets is hard work. It is a lot of responsibility, right? Would that be a good one? So taking my taking, oops, oops, we zoomed in too far. I forgot to tell me. We are totally not going to get this done today. I'm proud of you for coming up with all those ideas, Daniel. Yeah, Daniel, those are really good. Yeah. So think of your idea, your um, Yeah, I just thought of my own. I know. That's, I'm very proud of you for that. You need help. Yeah. From that's what it's all about. That's what school's all about. Trying to figure things out on your own and from solving like, problems and from, stuff like that. From being creative with your own thoughts, right? From from what he hit on my report card a lot. That's hard work, Daniel. Whoever just told you that is right, because that is hard work. Coming up with these ideas is hard work. It's not easy. Oh, y'all could have wrote about fourth grade being hard. If y'all think about it. So Taking care, taking care of my pets is hard work. Taking care of my pets is hard work, right? I should have, let me zoom in a little bit for y'all. So y'all should be filling this in. Taking care of my pets is hard work. Beans and cheese. I wrote taking care of my cousins is a big responsibility and hard work. Yes. I'm kind of like hard work because I used to have bunny and I always have to feed him and then he would get out of his cage. Why is it hard work to take care of our pets? What are our three main ideas? I mean, they're animals, so they can be a little wild and like just like run out of random places. What are our three main ideas? We said that why taking care of a pet is hard work. Taking them a bath and entertaining them. Taking the pets a shower. That's really hard. No. Like, let's say if you have a dog. Taking care of my pets is hard work. Hey, why are you saying animals that they don't really understand? They have brains. They're basically humans, except a different body shape, and they can't speak to you. And they don't know, like, I have to say if they run off to the street. No, because uh, they're kids. Because they're still kids. Entertain. Um. And the worst part. Part. Is I guess cleaning up after them, right? Ew. Beyond, do y'all get what I say when when I say cleaning up after them, like cleaning up their poop? And the worst part, cleaning their poop. Are picking up their poop. Picking up their. I hate saying poop. I don't know why. What's another way to say like poop? Besides like bowel movements. What's another way? Bathroom? Their mess? Their restroom, I guess? Their potty? I don't know how to say it. I hate saying poop in here. <laughs> it sounds weird. It doesn't sound weird to y'all. Um. The rest, not the restroom, their poop. Anybody have, I hate saying poop. I don't know why. Nobody, like what else, their potty? I mean, yes. picking up their mess. Picking up their, maybe their mess, but he said. I think picking I up their privacy. <laughs> picking up their business. <laughs> I guess we could say picking up their business. I mean, but wait, I guess. Wait, wait, ha, wait how about pay? Picking up their poo. I guess I'm just going to put poo because if we put business, we're still going to have to explain what business is in our main idea, I guess. Picking up their poo. Picking up their chocolate. <laughs> I guess you could make it funny like that. Yeah, that would be, hey, that would be a good little line. Picking up their chocolate because the, re the reader would probably be, what is chocolate? They would want to keep reading if you describe chocolate. 
That would be good, and Alex, because I know if I saw that, I'd be like, "What do you mean picking up their chocolate?" I would be entertained and want to keep reading to figure out what their chocolate is. So, if you want to say chocolate and describe to me what chocolate is as one of your main in your main ideas, and that's that's pretty good. I like that chocolate. So that's our introduction. Your introduction should have like two, maybe three sentences, somewhere along those lines. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. We might get to some of this. So you literally can take this one piece right here and transfer it to your paper for your introduction. You don't even have to write anything else. You don't have to change anything. You can literally take this and then copy it on your piece of paper for your rough draft or your final draft, whichever it is. You don't have to think of a new introduction because you've already written it. That's paragraph one. I should have said that. That's paragraph one, paragraph two, three, four, and then five. I know this is a lot. Ugh. We got to finish this. So what was one of our main ideas? Y'all told me one of the main ideas already. What was it? We said them several times already. We, we picking, up, picking up their chocolate. Yeah, so we listed them here. So I'll put that as number three because I listed it last. I'm going to put picking up chocolate. Picking? Up there, chocolate. We're gonna use they make a mess. What was number two? We had to what? Keep them what? Entertain them. Entertain and clean them. Enter. And then um, clean them. The editor Natalie left. I know she's been like driving. I don't know if she's still driving, going to work with her mom. So those are our main ideas. Y'all need to be writing this because who, who is Danica? How many of y'all? I swear, Miss Gonzalez said like Emma. You had your hand up. Sorry, I just saw you. Emma. Oh, that was a long time ago. Oh, sorry, I just saw you because there's like 30 people in here. I was looking. It's pronounced Den Denica. Guys, be quiet. We have like Miss Gonzalez's class in here. Now we have like more people than we did yesterday. I don't know. How many people in Miss Gonzalez's class? How many people normally zoom with y'all? Like about how many people? I swear. Probably like 18. Like join your Zooms? There's actually that many? Or it's 15. Around there, I guess it varies. So usually ours is about 15, right? They're about 15, maybe 16 people. I swear, Miss Gonzalez said she's 16. Sometimes 16. I think now 16 gazillions back. Because, like, Elliot wasn't here yesterday. I didn't see Danica here yesterday. Oh, Madison's here. Let me check her off. I don't see Ricky. Do you see Ricky on here today? Yeah, Miss Gonzalez. Yeah, Miss Or Ariana. I don't see Ariana, right? All right, she's on here. Gosh, I think there's so many of y'all. Okay. <sighs> Do you have this written down? Thumbs up if you have this written down so I can move on. I am just trying to write some, some on the introduction right now. Um, Daniel, you don't want to write too much in your introduction because remember, you have 26 lines. For y'all, I know we don't have the writing paper. I would keep it 26 lines is the same amount of this journal. So I would only use one page of paper. If you write more than that, they're not going to want to read it. And I can tell you, you may get a zero, even though it's a really good paper. And I don't want you to get a zero if you put a lot of effort and it's a really good paper because you wrote too much. Maybe you said 26 lines. Yeah, so this, this, the this like you were talking about the star. Yeah, this, the star is 26 lines, but this paper right here that I'm showing you, it has 26 lines. I don't know if y'all want to count yours to see if it has 26 lines, but 
I would just roll of thumb, I wouldn't use more than one piece of paper. So that's why you don't want your introduction to have 19 lines or 19 sentences, because that's going to be too much. So clean them. Who can give me a personal example why it's hard to keep um, clean dogs or clean your cats, clean maybe your, I don't know, your rabbits, your chickens, your horses? Why, why is that hard work? Why is it difficult? The cats well, always well, scratch you. I'll use an example for you. They might try to es escape the tub. Oh, they might. Um, they're scared of the tub, maybe? Are they um, scared of water? Definitely, if it's like a really aggressive cat, they're definitely going to bite you. I still have a bite from like three years ago. The water? They're scared of the water? Um, Natalie said um, they may attack you. They may attack you like a cat or even a dog attack you. Oh, um, what's another? Does somebody have a personal, a bad experience with when they were cleaning their dog? Maybe something their dog did in the bathroom? I don't really, that's never really happened because like my dog, it's not really too big. It's like, no, no. It's like really tiny. It's never, nothing really bad has ever happened, but I do have a sock go in the back, and it sometimes the poop gets around it, so I can never use it. Or sometimes I'll push you in the mud. Okay, but that's not, but we're trying to get them clean. What, one more of why it's hard to keep or get them clean or keep them clean. They're scared of the water, they may attack you, what else? Maybe they'll, like, try to run away. So, um, they may, they may try to run away. Okay. Um, and, and yeah, because that right, one's happening right, like right back, yesterday. Okay. Yesterday, my cousin's dad was taking a bath, and then I think before they took it to like I think Petco, and then they took a bath there, and then he like scrubbed it, and then he did something about like rubbing his feet or like cleaning his feet because they're all dirty and rough. And then he didn't like that. So then he got all cautious the next day about taking the bath or the next time he took a bath. And he was like trying to run away. Or you may put in all this work to keep them clean and then you go home and all of a sudden they find dirt and start rolling around in dirt. It happens with the cat that's here because my dog doesn't really have any like mud or dirt in the back. Just grass. Um, entertain them. Think about why it's hard to keep them entertained. Or why it's hard work to keep them entertained. Because they don't listen. Um, they don't like to listen. They don't follow the rules. Listen, what else? Do dogs always want to play? Yes. A lot of the time, but once I chase my dogs, so, well, I wasn't chasing my dog, but I was running around the house and then my dog was chasing me. And then he got so tired that he just stopped and then he threw up. Ew. So they always want to play. Maybe you don't want to play because you've been at school all day long, or maybe you're tired. It's late at night and they want to play. They always, oops, gotta put that stay off. Can you uh, slow down, please? Wait, what? Can you uh, slow down? We'll stop right there. Start. The rest of y'all that have are almost there. Think of the last reason why it's hard work to keep them entertained. They, they don't like to listen. They always want to play. The rest of hard is trying to find time, trying to find the right schedule to play with them. That's what I find the hardest. But taking care of a dog. I don't really have time. That's why I just like to let my dog just roam around inside and I just like sit in here relaxed and it's just rubbing its tummy.
are these Mayan challenges? Has, Natalie, have you been paying attention to them? Um, Vida, I'm going to try to send your report card today, if anything. You're making good time. I didn't think we'd have We'll be working this fast. So what was our last um, reason for um, entertaining? I want to hear somebody else besides the normal people that have been answering. Emma, you have something why it's always hard to keep them entertained or why it's hard work to keep them entertained? So we got they don't listen. Um, they always want to play. What else? Don't oh, pay attention to you. So they don't like to listen. I have a different topic, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Are you getting? Are you able to pull these in, or do you need help? And I kind of disagree that it's hard to take care of them. Okay, you keep going with your topic. I didn't know if you were writing. You were writing a different topic. Are you able to fill these in with um reasons why? Okay, for y'all that are trying to write something different, let me know if y'all need help coming up with reasons why, and then I will guide y'all in the right direction. I think Anella said, "Uh, Dylan." Sorry. When they run out, like when they run outside, it's hard to get them because they're just like, like if you try to get them, they'll just run really fast. Mommy, try to escape. Um, Elizabeth, did you have something? And it's hard to retrieve them if they escape. Sometimes, like big dogs can be annoying. What was that, Elizabeth? I was going to answer. Oh, okay. Did you have something else you thought might be difficult? No. Okay. If you can think of something else and you're using this, but you have something else you would like to put in here because you can really talk about it, that's perfectly fine with me. So picking up their chocolate. I guess, first of all, we need to explain what chocolate is, don't we? Shouldn't we let the reader know what chocolate is? We should have put that one as our first one. Chocolate. By chocolate, I mean their poop. I guess I'll put that there. By chocolate, I mean their poop. Entertaining a dog is hard. My cousin's dog always tries to chase me because I always run. I know they're supposed to they're supposed to chase you, but it's a sheep. It's like a sheep dog that is supposed to like. Protect stuff just like really fast and I can never like run around. Like a sheep dog? No, like not really like, not a, like a herding dog. It's in like a herding group. They a pool dog? They get that nickname because that's what they were used for like back in the day. A lot of people would use those type of dogs to like herd their sheep or cattle dogs. You hear, I think um they call them bull dogs because it's a tail. The cow, I forgot what, what it is, the other dog that they, but the, they get that nickname because that's what they are used, they used to use them for, for back in the day, like herding sheep or cows or wild animals and stuff. Um, picking up their chocolate, by chocolate, I mean their poop will be one of them. What else is, is hard work about that part? What makes it hard work? Some of y'all explained it earlier. What's hard work about picking up their poop? I know some of y'all don't like doing that. Um, it might be mushy poop. It might be nasty. What I do is, what I do is if, if I'm feeling a little bit lazy and tired, I just take him for a walk and then he poops there. And, and then I just leave it down there and then I just clean it up. I don't really probably wash it and go outside. Do, do dogs poop a lot? I don't know. Do they make a lot? No, my dog, he, he's a little dog, so I wouldn't expect a lot of poop. He would just pee once and then pee and poop one little ball. I don't have a dog. I just have to pet Turner and a rabbit. Okay. I mean, a bunny. 
I have a dog and a cat. Okay. So one more about picking up their chocolate. It might be smelly. Um, their chocolate is, is their poop. What's one more thing about it that's... Um, um, people could stab in it. Oh, yeah, you could, um, or, um, they poop everywhere, I guess? They make chocolate everywhere? I guess. They eat Easter bunnies that they don't poop chocolate, but they just, they eat Easter bunnies, definitely. I, there's not, it's not edible chocolate, but they do poop up chocolate. But it's not really everywhere. It doesn't really get everywhere. This is my dog. This in my backyard. I I separated by two parts. Actually, three. There's the concrete part, the grass part, and the dark part. The dark part is where he usually poops, and that's the side that he usually poops on. So I don't really have to worry about just. I just have to spray over there. Stop it! Okay. Okay. So we're yeah, that's, that's that's a good one. We're almost done with this that's crazy it took us a lot less time than i thought it would in conclusion the bottom of the book. Uh, we have like 30 minutes until like 10 o'clock and 10 o'clock is not over we have to leave until get this finished all right so and maybe we'll start our paper i don't we don't know much time but we do have time so we're gonna keep going with it how do we want to conclude our paper? In conclusion, taking care of what? In conclusion, what? How do we want to end this? In conclusion, taking care of my pets is hard work, isn't it? Would we agree? Would we not agree? What? Yep. So in conclusion, in conclusion, you need a comma. Conclusion, taking care of my pet is hard work. Do we have a lot of jobs when taking care of taking care of pets that we have to do? There's a lot of details in the parts, but not the parts are the parts are easy themselves. The the ideas that could happen are hard. So, um, in conclusion, taking care of my pets is hard work. Um. I have to clean them, I have to keep them entertained, and I have to pick up their chocolate. I'm going to reach the first one because I don't really want to explain what chocolate is because they should know already. What chocolate is, if you mean it's coming what out the back. What are you going to put there? I'm just going to put, uh, I'm going to put something else about, oh, right like, why it's bad. Yeah, I'm going to take if, away that one. I'm not going to actually spill the beans and say it's poop. If I, if I, if I order, write, write about this topic, then I, I would just, um, say, picking up their poop. And answer name. Ah, bring our and oh, I need my comma and pick up their chocolate. I know. Ah, let's send out of this. Do you think this is enough?
Let me see. Scroll up or move it's up. Basically, repeated the top sentence. The top sentence. I have to. I have to clean them, entertain them, and pick up their chocolate. Yeah, I want the reader to know that that's what I wrote about. You can put some personal if you want to. Yeah, Natalie, that's good. But we could say at the end of the day, I'm I gonna put hard work because I explained it about maybe two t two times, and I don't want to do it for a third time. Okay. Then what are you gonna put? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it like it was with the first sentence, just with the first sentence. Conclusion: Conclusion: Take care of my pets. Hard work. Hello. Bye. But yep. even though it's hard work, would you still keep your dog? Yeah. Or your pet, your animal? Of course. Why would I? Why would I not keep it? Okay. So then I want you to put that in conclusion. Taking care of my pet is hard work, but I don't mind the hard work because I love my rover or whatever your dog's name. Because I love my dog or love my cat or love my animals. I, or me. I I I have not even done main idea one yet. What do you mean, Daniel? What are you missing from there so I can help you with it? Like, um, when, uh, uh, I, like when I went to the bathroom, I still haven't done anything other than the introduction. Okay, you need to get it down on paper because we've been here working and you've been back for a while and there's no excuse not to have at least your main ideas. So y'all have your paper now. Can y'all believe that? Except with the transitions. First, second, next, or first, second, third, lastly, or in conclusion. I'm gonna show you how to go about writing this. Does every thumbs up if you have this all written down in your paper? I got Elizabeth, I got Dylan, I need to know. Jasmine, Chris. Azu, Vida, I think that was you. What'd you say? I said I have like uh, one more part to do. Okay. Um, Christian, go to the restroom. The rest of y'all, do y'all have it? Dominic, Charlie, Angelina, are you still writing it? No, you got it? Okay. We're going to start writing our paper. We're going to take what we wrote just now and write it on our paper. This might help you if I do this. If I color coordinate it. Thank you. What I'm putting in orange is the beginning and the end of your story. This is your first paragraph, and this would be your last paragraph down here. I'm gonna to try to color coordinate it so that y'all can distinguish between the beginning and the end. So this would be at the beginning, word for word at the beginning, and this would word for word would be at the end. So we have to make up our like we have to make up our middle sentence or like our middle paragraph. Um, you're gonna to have to kind of put all of what we did here into complete sentences. Yes, I'm gonna show y'all. We're gonna do our introduction and probably we'll, maybe we'll get to one of these today. And then I'll kind of let y'all go and do this too by yourself and then give me this. You already have you already have the beginning and the end. I gave it to you. Excuse me. Yes. Can I use the restroom? Yes, go ahead. The hard part for y'all, I know, is gonna be making this into a sentence. And how do I start my paragraph? So I'm gonna show y'all how to do that with what we got here. Well, we have our ideas here. We just have to create sentences and paragraphs. With what we have to continue it and write. And what? Do we have to continue it in one? No, no. We'll, we'll continue it tomorrow. I'll give you all. I'm thinking tomorrow morning we'll start again at around 8.20, 8.30 with it. And then we'll finish up. Depending on how far we get, we may just have this middle part, these two parts that you are going to have to do by yourself. And that's it. So, like, this is going to be paragraph one. Or paragraph two, sorry. That's paragraph one, paragraph two. 
Blue is going to be paragraph three. This is paragraph three. All of this will be in one paragraph together. And then pink will be paragraph four. So in a minute, I'm going to tell you I need the first part of our orange to distinguish it. So I need five um, paragraphs in total? Yep, it would be five paragraphs in total. That's going to give you close to 26 lines or close to a full paper. A couple of these you may be able to put together like in one sentence, maybe. Um, I'm trying to think of where. These two you can kind of probably put together. They're scared of water or they may try to run away, you know. But are we ready to move on so I can start writing and show y'all where to begin, right? Yeah. Remember, you are going to turn this in a Miss Gonzalez's class. I don't know if you are going to turn this one in specifically or if she's going to give you a new one to go over, but at least y'all will kind of have one. And if not, you may be able just to use the one we have that we've already created and you'll be ahead. Okay. Are we ready? Let's start writing our paper. How exciting. Hold on. I'm ripping this out because I want y'all to be able to see it. You do not rip yours out. You keep it in your journal. Okay. So let's cover all this. What are we going to write as our introduction? What's going to be our first paragraph? Who can tell me? It's in orange at the top. You can tell me what our introduction is. Come on. Y'all don't have to flip back and forth. I have the same thing y'all have. Y'all can just use mine. What are we going to put as our introduction? It's already written for us. Who can read it back to me? What we're putting in our introduction. Elizabeth, go ahead. Taking care of my pets is hard work. I have to keep them clean. Entertained and the worst part, picking up their poop or their chocolate. I'll put picking up their chocolate. So that's what I'm going to put right here on my first line. So taking care of my pets. Y'all yeah, writing this is hard work. I have to keep and clean, entertain, and I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna change it and pick up their chocolate. Miss Amanda, when are we gonna do a uh, mask? In the afternoon. And picking up their chocolate. That's our introduction. Look, we already have one paragraph. So we're gonna try to do, we're gonna finish all of it today, probably, maybe. No, I'm gonna finish. I mean, somehow, may Anilo, if you can keep going and put your main ideas into sentences and complete paragraphs two, three, and four, you can go ahead and do that. But I know some of the other ones are gonna ask, well, how do I turn this into a paragraph? How do I put this into a complete sentence? So I'm going to show you one. I'm going to show you the Six. next paragraph. No. I'm going to show you the next paragraph. Eight, and you're going to five, paragraph three and four by yourself. A5E five, five, or F. Natalie, what are you doing? I'm going to do my story. Get the other Natalie. <laughs> yeah, it's the other one. Would it be helpful if I highlighted the introduction like I did on there in orange so that you know you have one paragraph? That may be helpful. I'll highlight it so you know this is your introduction.
I had a paper that listed transition. Do you want to transition your paragraphs by saying first, next, then, or first, second, third, or in conclusion? Let me see if I have it on. Let me show you. I've been writing last year. Oh, I've been writing. Write about something you're good at. I start a lot. I don't get very far. Oh my goodness, that was a long story right there. Hold on. What? Y'all have art in a little bit. Oh, here, here they are, here. How much lines are we supposed to have? Because there's only 25 lines that I see on here. About, Anello, I would just say about one page. So one page from the top to the bottom of that would be close enough to what you're going to have on your... It's like, I only see like 25 so, lines. I can't I know. Did you say to put on um, to do two, two on our own? Um, I will in a second. Hold on. I was going to um, talk about transitions real fast. I'm going to do the second paragraph with y'all, but after this. So writers connect ideas with, with sentence, ideas and sentences with transition words. So in the beginning, our first paragraph, we're going to put to start first. And then for our second one, I'll put some of these above the main idea for y'all. We put secondly, also in addition, or another reason maybe that taking care of my pet is hard or Finally, so let me show you what I mean. Where's my paper? We've gotten a lot done today for writing. I'm proud of y'all. I've done very well. So here's what we have so far for our main idea. How do we want to, which transition do we want to use? First, first, or to begin with, or to start, who wants to? So we got to turn this main idea into our topic sentence, which is always going to be your first sentence of each paragraph, these main I like, ideas. I like to begin with. To begin with, it's hard to keep, it's hard to key or it's hard to clean my pets. So to begin with. So. Begin with, it's, Hard to clean my pets. To begin with, it's hard to clean my pets. So you have to turn that main idea into a complete sentence. Some of y'all may eventually be able to make that into a complete sentence in that main idea box. So what are reasons did we put of, as to why it's hard work to keep or to clean them? What were our reasons? What are the three in yellow down there? What are the three in yellow down there that we gave as reasons for why it's hard work to clean them? I do towels. What? I said I do towels. Our details. Our yes, our details. Yes, sorry. I'm asleep. Our details. Yeah. What are the details we gave or the examples? Some of y'all could have specific examples. They're scared of the water. Um, then they attack you and then they try to run away. Scared of the water. So what happens when they're scared of the water? What do they try to do? Run away. They jump out of the water. So they run away. So we use that one. They 
then try to run away. All right. Oh, there we go. We got two. Oh, no, no, no. What else may they try? May they try to do if they're scared of that water? Oh, hopefully we have enough space. Uh oh. This is probably gonna be hard because I feel like I might not have enough room. Because I thought it would, I didn't have enough. I wouldn't have enough space, so I put a different sentence. And I don't want to erase it because if I erase it, it's just gonna make it look more messy because it's already too big. Maybe I'm using a pen. Try to write a little smaller, Anello. That's why I'm kind of writing smaller. That's one thing too. Writing you're, small. What you have to think about when you're writing this is that you're you may have to write a little smaller to fit in everything you want to put. Or maybe sometimes if it's, if I'm not recommending this, but if it's not a, a really good detail you can explain or go into depth with, I wouldn't put it in there. Like maybe you could take one of these out. I wrote my first paragraph. What did you write, Natalie? Let me hear what you wrote. I'm already on my second. Hold on. Taking care of my cousins is hard work and a big responsibility. To begin with, Um, my hair is kind of a little itchy. It keeps distracting me. <laughs> Tracks. It's cool. To begin with, it's hard to stop my cousins from making a big mess. One reason is they throw stuff around all over the place. Mm -hmm. Second reason is because they don't help clean up their mess. Good. Good job. So, um, so let's see, they may then try to run away. Um, I guess we gotta use, they may attack you. Also, oh, I'm using a different pen. Ah, oh, I'm using blue. Oh. Also, Ms. Hernandez, they, can we include headings in here? Um, I would not include headings, just because okay. you don't have a lot. Of, just because you don't have a lot of room. That's the only reason why I would not include headings. They may become, we'll say, violent and attack you. They may become violent and attack you. Look at that. We got our second paragraph. We use this. I already wrote a lot. Uh, I, uh, it looks like I wrote a lot. Nice. Good, good, good. Well, I'm going to put this in yellow because this is our second paragraph. To distinguish. Look at that. And y'all probably thought, oh, I can't come up with any of this. Well, that turned it off. Fun and easy because all you have to do is look at your what your main idea and then just read the topics so I could do. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm telling you. Once y'all complete this back here, you are able to write your story because not only that, you can probably already put your top your main idea or your topic sentence right here. So we could have put to begin with. It's hard. Um, to clean my pets. We could have put that in there and then we'd have our, our sentences right here. We just have to put them into a paragraph, pretty much. Elizabeth, did you have a question? That's what I'm telling y'all. It's hard brainstorming and coming up with this. It's not so hard and putting the words on a paper. For some people it is. I'm gonna wanna see this. You're gonna show it to me in a second, what you've gotten done. I'm gonna want to see. I've seen Emma's. I've seen Natalie's. Who's still writing this? Miss Hernandez. Of uh, Elizabeth. I'm still doing my main ideas. 
Uh, I see Elizabeth. I want to see. I want to see. Hold your papers up when you're done. I want to see. Miss Hernandez. Yes. My friend Maya, she would have wrote a whole bunch because she's good at writing. Some people oh, write. About her yeah, that's writing. true. That's really true. She probably wouldn't. Yeah. Write. She probably would have wrote two pages even if she wasn't supposed to. Is it Miss Gonzalez? We were with her John Desiree. Gonzalez last year. I want to see the rest of y'all. So, um, like I said, Miss Gonzalez's class, I don't know if she's going to make y'all write something different or not, or if she's going to ask you, did you already start? And if she asks, did you already start? You can say yes, and you can keep writing what you have. So y'all are ahead, because I don't know how she's going to do it. But y'all can either use what we've created together and finish your writing, or maybe she's going to go into one with y'all tomorrow, the next couple of days together. I have no clue, but y'all at least have a start to it. Y'all at least have a start to it. Can I read mine? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's listen to Emma. See what she's got. Taking care of my sister is a really big responsibility. There's watching her, cleaning her mess, and making sure she's happy. To begin with, it's hard to watch my sister all the time. The reason why is because she's fast and you catch her and, and you won't catch her in time. Then she'll be sad when you try to take her away. She also, she also runs away and gets away with it and goes on her trail. I like it. How far did you get? Or how, what paragraph are you on? Uh, I think that's my first man. I've only made two big paragraphs. paragraphs. I finished, that's the introduction and the note and the first one idea. Let me see your papers. I want to see what you've written down. Hold them up. Good job, Heidi. I saw, good job, Elliot. The rest of you can see. Okay, I want to see. Remember, after lunch, I need cameras on. I told y'all, we're going to be watched by Miss Dellinger, and she may even ask you. I don't know if she's going to be in the classroom or she's going to pop into our Zoom, but she may ask you to turn on your cameras. So you might as well just keep them on. I will reward y'all for good, positive behavior this afternoon. In my classroom, if you're in my classroom, you may get an extra something. Wait, Miss, I'm done. Can I hear it? Yeah, go ahead. I want to see it. The rest of y'all that aren't showing me. Hold on, Vida. Uh, let me see. Go ahead. Good job, Sophia. Good job, Vida. Keep a hold of these papers because tomorrow I'm going to give you a few more. I'm going to give you about an hour. We're going to, you're going to be able to do paragraph two and three. And then we already have our conclusion. So all you're going to have to do tomorrow is these two paragraphs, my class. Um, I'm already starting my second paragraph. Um, hold on. I just saw somebody. Madison, I don't know if that was Madison, Jasmine, somebody had it. Ten paragraphs, is that what you said? No, I say all you're going to have to do is two paragraphs. You'll have to do these. So I'm, do I'm doing the second paragraph, though. Okay. Oh, the third one, you mean? This one? Yeah. All you're going to have to do is do these two, and then you have your conclusion. So we'll, it should not take you an hour to do this. Okay. We have... Art right now, Miss Gonzalez's class. Pay attention. We have arts, our extra fine arts. So we have, we have art. We have art from ten to ten forty-five. Y'all can join our art Zoom, or if you're not gonna do it, I guess you can continue writing this. Good job, Dylan. Um, and then after art, you have PE. So you have PE from 10.50 to 11.35, and then you have lunch until 12.25. You need to be back here at 12.25 with your cameras on, ready to work, because Miss Dellinger is either going to be in our Zoom or she's going to be in the classroom. Wait, what time is it back? 12.25. 12.25? Yes. 12.25. What time are y'all coming back? I want to hear y'all. 12. 12.25. 12.25. 12.25. 12 be doing math. Got it? Bye. At 1225? Yes, 1225. We leave? Yes. Y'all have?
art right now. Jordan, you are with me. You can join the art Zoom. Daniel, are you still copying this? Are you need help with anything? Now I should go to art. Go to art and then PE and then lunch. Daniel, do you need help with anything? Uh, okay. Yeah, I have to paint the oh. um, something for um doing doing good in all subjects. Okay. You are going to um art, Azu, and then PE, and then lunch, and be back here at twelve twenty-five. Do I leave? Yes, you can leave. All right, Daniel. Do you need anything from me? If not, I'm I need. I need an idea for um doing good in all subjects. Main idea too. You need main ideas, or you need the supporting details. You need details. The the supporting details the of detail. main idea too. The main idea is you need to do well in all subjects. Yeah. Um. Each subject is challenging, isn't it? Isn't it hard? Well, well, I I already put it's a lot of work. What's a lot of or you put it's a lot of work, but what um doesn't each subject require more work though? I know are you better at math than you are at reading? Are you better at reading than math? Actually I'm better at math than I am at reading. So then maybe you could put, uh, have to make, so the supporting details, you have to make good grades, is what you said? What was it? Or sorry, what's the main idea that you have? Um, the main idea is doing good in all subjects. So it's hard work for me to make good grades in reading because reading's hard, right? Yeah. Put that down, reading is challenging. Mm. RJ, do you have a question? Um, Mr. Nuggets, on his canvas, it's not showing anything again. Like, it just shows art. It doesn't show his other subjects. Um, can he join the art Zoom? Can he try to join the art Zoom? Let me check. Daniel, did you write that down? Um, like... Well, I could just say again because um, I've only wrote the first word of that supporting detail. Um, reading is hard, right? Uh, you have to pay more attention to reading, don't you? Like you probably have to pay more attention, otherwise you may not you may not get everything, or maybe it becomes more challenging. And I think that my mom just. Um, I just gave me the third one. What'd you get, Daniel? Um, do, doing Zoom is harder than, than doing it in actual school. Yeah, so that could be a challenge, yeah, that you are not in class right now. That is a big challenge, and some of you are doing well with it. Okay, I'm done with that main idea. The rest of y'all should be in art. Leave the meeting and join art. Wait, um, what page in, are you on? In, in step doing cut put on star, how about waking up early? Waking up early? Yeah. What page are you on? We are not on a page. We're, I'm helping them with their writing. Y'all should be in art class. I am.
I'm on May I year three. What's the writing for them? This writing is writing that they need to turn in tomorrow. Okay, because I don't think Randy wrote it. Okay, then he, I would suggest he write it before he goes to art or PE at least. Okay, I'll make him write it right now. Daniel. Oh, so you're going to use star, right? Uh, actually, um, uh, I was like, you know what? Um, I'm, um, I think that hey, hey, waking up early might be easier. See, because that's my, um, fourth topic um on a thing so what was your overall thing it was you have school going to school is hard work is that what you had as you like your overall your big one like your main your topic your whole topic that you're writing about what's hard for you no what is it what did you put in the middle of that circle like what i put on the middle of the circle is hitting a's on the report card Okay, so, but how does waking up early relate to getting A's on your report card? I would, I would put, I wouldn't put, I would keep the star test on there. Oh, oh okay. Waking up early is really, you're going to be able to really relate that to getting A's on your report card. I think if you keep the star there, you can say, if I do well and get A's all year long, I know I'm going to do well on my star test at the end of the year, right? Yeah. Yeah. So a supporting idea is if I do well all year long for the, the star, I will do well on my star, right? Okay. That could be one detail. If I'm making good grades every six weeks, I'm going to make a, I'm going to pass my star test. I'm just going to...